box that where where I have to make the hole. So here it is on on the side of that. Here all the wires will came in, and after that it is a holes for the circuit and this here it is holes for the heat source and down there I have made this so holes for the fan we have done the uh, holes now we are going to put wires in it one for the fan area and one for the circuit area be sure that you put the sticker side on to the bulb Okay, now everything is uh, ready and this incubator is ready to use. Now we have to check if it is working perfectly. So again, we are going to push the on button and see the light goes on, the light is on, the fan is working and blowing the air to it. And see, this is the sensor. You have to put the sensor onto the bulb and see here uh, how much on how much uh, temperature it will go and it will push off the sensor see it is going 37 38 view it's off on the 38 it triggers the bulb to off when it reaches 37 it will turn the bulb on again so this is how it works It's ready. Okay, so our incubator is ready, and you have to take a look in from inside. There is a heat source, and there are water uh, balls. There are the fan in between them, and then there is a tray. And that's the simplest incubator you can make. As you can see, uh, we have reached 38.1. Fahrenheit and it should have to be switched off on 38 let's see how it is going ok so it get off when it reached to the 38 now it's going to go down to 37 and it will turn on so let's see what we do have inside of it this is the hygrometer and we use it to measure the temperature and, and humidity so it is not that much useful when we are using
So here we have this uh, incubator. It is very simple and very effective uh, incubator you can make in your home in just 10 minutes or under half an hour. So let's see what do we have here. We have this tray and sensor. We see this is get on and that is a heat source. That is a fan and those two balls are for the water rays. So yes, these are very simple and effective incubator you can make at your home.